Are your hands, are you red-handed? How many of you are red-handed? Nobody? I am. I've been clapping throughout the last two hours and actually red-handed. And I can blame only the principal of the school for making me red-handed, okay? Everything was so beautiful and fabulous, including the speech of our chief guest, Mr. Rajiv Chandran, <laughs> that it only did made me more and more red-handed. Thank you so much, Rajiv. I have been your admirer for the last 20 years, as long as I've known you. And the same smile, the same demeanor, the same attitude and the same love for people shows wherever you are. And I'm sure your presence in the United Nations office in India makes you United Nations itself, as I say. You're not just an officer there, you're not just a director there, you are United Nations for us. Dear friends, today I have an appeal for our chief guest, and the appeal is that we would like to make a charter for children for the United Nations. You told me there is one for UNICEF. And that charter should find its beginning here and now. And the charter should be so long, miles long, that it comes in the Book of Guinness. And that charter should have each student's suggestion, declaration, so that we don't always say we the people of United Nations, we say we the children of United Nations. <laughs> and if this can be made into the longest scroll, we'll include all the UPS, all the NPSC, UPSC school, and every child who's going to school or not going to school enters his need, his want, his hunger, his desire, his dream, so that people all over the world understand that children are really, really our gurus. I have always considered you, dear delegates and children, as my gurus, right? And therefore, aapko bahut bahut namaskar. This namaskar is especially for the children present here, or young adults, or school students, or the delegates from all over the world. I assure you, the adults sitting here, you'll be very, very happy if you understand the needs of a student, a child, and try and copy him. Your honesty, your truthfulness, your spontaneity, your desire to express what you have in heart and mind without diplomacy will be so very good for the whole world. We're talking about a lot of uh, resolutions which are being um, made here today and signed, but are we talking about the action that each one of you will take when you go from here? We just read that Gandhiji said, be the change that you want to make. So let's begin thinking about the change you want and become the change that you want to make. I have so often thought about the beautiful five Ps that you told us about, peace, planet, people, prosperity, and partnership, as said by Rajiv Chandran. I think what the world needs, peace within. I think it is the lack of peace within that is leading to terrorism, that is leading to frustration, that is leading to so much of egoistic way of thinking that we are unable to unite our thoughts together to be able to live as one world, the beautiful uh, song that we heard. My only teacher in the world has been a student, and not only a student, my own daughter, Tamanna, and that guru has taught me so much that I think if parents and teachers can bow to the children, the world will be a better place to live in. 
Yes, we need leaders, but we don't need authoritative leaders. We need leaders that respect the feelings of others. They're not political animals. They're not thinking about economy all the time, because right now, on the environmental issue, it is economy versus the planet. More cars, more problems. More sales, more problems. More advertising, more production of the kind where there's so much of wastage. I believe in Delhi, we cannot find grounds for garbage. So, dear children, while you're becoming great thinkers, think about becoming scientists who can create some kind of uh, uh, inventions, some kind of products, some kind of stuff that will be able to consume the consumer's waste. Can you think about it? I think we have a mind. This is a world of the mind, but we don't have a mindset. So I think uh, situations like this, events like this, are actually meant for changing the mindset, caring, using less, sparing for others and being able to share. If you have one roti, give half to someone who doesn't have it all. I feel so bad for some of the children of this country itself, and I'm sure it's the same all over the world, where some have so much and others have nothing at all. Have you thought about it? I'm sure in any of the resolutions, you've thought about hunger, you've thought about those who are denied what they need. I know for the last three days, you have been having humanized consultations, and suddenly the world must have become your classrooms. What you may have never found in the books, you found in your meetings, conversations, you were sorting out your dilemmas, and you were doing all that because you want this world to be a better place to live in. Our chief guest rightly said that knowledge is power. I will add to it that learning is power. You need to enhance, you need to engage, you need to elevate from teaching to learning and learn yourself. I'm sure when you're out of the schools and classrooms for three days, what you have learned will be remembered all your life but what may be in your books may be forgotten when you finish one class and move to the next. We are actually in the process of creating human capital in this MUN. I'd like to share with you, while you're really very hungry yet, still, I mean, the hunger is going on, there are some yawns and there are some tired-looking young adults sitting here. I don't blame you. After that melodious, beautiful program that you have to listen to speeches, I have a job to do and I shall try and do it and close it as soon as possible. I just want to share with you that I'm looking after an organization called Tamanna. She also happens to be my daughter and we are a part of the ECOSOC of the United Nations. And I've had an opportunity to speak in the ECOSOC in the United Nations, thanks to Mr. Rajiv Chandran, and also at the age, I won't tell that, but in the 50s, late 50s in the school, I took part in a mock session that was not um, a model United Nations, it was a mock United Nations where we actually copied and somebody was somebody, and I'm sure many of you are sitting here, whether it is Clinton or it is another president of the world, because then you actually start feeling that you are you. How many of you are, uh, have been renowned in the last sessions of the United Nations? Who's who here? Out of the eight committees, did you actually become? Yes? Oh, it's different now. So things have changed. 
but I'm sure in your next one, you could have one model United Nations and also show that model United Nations on the screen as a model United Nations. How the etiquette, how the speeches, how the behavior, how the entry point, how difficult it is to walk into a United Nations office, and how hard it is to maintain your dignity. Even if you want to kill somebody, you can't do it. And then compare it with the Indian parliament. And then you will realize that you should have had about 20, 30 parliamentarians in your next MUN, which will be a model United Nations. I think I'm saying some things which might be hard to digest, but that is the truth. Rajiv, we really want to show a model United Nations in the next session of parliament, if you agree, and our children will take it on. Thank you once again for all the diplomacy that you've learned and the international relations that are required to strengthen the United Nations. As I just said, that we do hope that your research and your critical thinking affects each one of you and we as a nation become a greater one because my gurus sitting here are greater than all the adults sitting here. I would like to send a message to two individuals who are not here and who are actually the ones who are most interested in the children of India and in the schools of India, and they are the chairpersons of this institute. We have Mr. Deep Singh to remember, Gurdeep Singh to remember, and Mr. Nirmal Singh. They're both like omniscient, omnipresent, and I think wherever they are, they're thinking of you and sending you good wishes. We also have two chairpersons here, the women, and we have here Serena. Uh, you can just say hi to them. It's a lot of woman power here, and we have just Spreet Kaur, and she's here as well. And then we have one more member. He's just come back up after doing five years at Brown's University, Harkaran. Harkaran, you can just say hi to them to know that you can be very young and yet be interested in education and students. Thank you, Ruchi, for giving me this opportunity. But right now, I think when the stomachs are calling for food, words don't get in there. Okay? Thank you so much.